Hello viewers uh, in the previous episodes of this academy and industry series of collaborations and incubators Sukant has been asking me a lot of tough questions and now I think it's my turn to ask you Sukant I know you are the expert on uh, AI blockchain and a world leader in this is Sukant especially for a state like uh, Uttar Pradesh and also in the national and international context how does blockchain Mm -hmm. artificial intelligence these are yeah. all the latest buzzwords in technology yeah. Yeah. iot the internet of things yeah. and we all know that these are the technologies with which we can really transform our mm -hmm. nation to in multi yeah. multiple spheres like agriculture healthcare etc yeah. so i'm looking forward to hearing your ideas on this sukan yeah. right right from the the man himself Yeah, so that's not fair. I was hoping that I'll just be the one who will be doing questioning, and uh, I'll be the happy host who doesn't have to do much work. But okay, um, so uh, Ravi, thanks for asking this. So there is a lot of potential of artificial intelligence. Okay. Uh, let me start by even saying simply, you have uh, different infections, right? You create a central database. Okay. Um, humanly, it might become impossible with the strains. Let's say even mm. just with TB strain, it might become okay. humanly impossible. Mm -hmm. now you have so many other infections hmm. ai can help in diagnosis ai let me give another example let us say you're having some minor changes in heartbeat okay. now you have a poorly trained physician who most there are some idealistic physicians who go and work in small villages but not everyone would be so well trained absolutely instead of your physician if you have ai if i can just interject you yeah about more than 50% of uh, tuberculosis cases for example falsely diagnosed is falsely diagnosed exactly right? so that's where you need ai so ai can play a role of a physician's assistant hmm. it's not replacing the physician but it can drastically enhance a physician's capabilities okay. it can also play a role of an assistant to a pharmacist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right mm. it can even now if you put in blockchain what medicine is being distributed Hmm. Since we talked of pharmacist, that person would not be able Sukhan, to. Sukhan, Sukhan, some of our uh, viewer uh, listeners may not even know what is blockchain. Yeah, or what even artificial intelligence. Yeah, can you just give a sentence or two on this? Yeah. What's a blockchain? Means yeah. I always, uh, when I speak to my younger colleagues or yeah. young children, they say blockchain. What is that? Yeah. Is it a toy yeah. or and a little more uh, red one? They say it's a cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how does that come into? Yeah. So that's great question. So. blockchain for see blockchain is not just about bitcoin and cryptocurrencies ethereum okay. and all blockchain is distributed ledger system where at the same time whenever you're adding anything the information goes to all the nodes so you can't hack it change it because you'll have to do it in all the places and there's heavy encryption okay. now the encryption need not be just uh, so what's the advantage of this encryption in multiple nodes the advantage is that things cannot be fudged Okay. So now, yeah. if you if somebody wants to change records, right? Mm -hmm. Corruption becomes nearly impossible, and this need uh -huh. not be just a private thing. See, because a lot of people, including me, mm -hmm. who does a lot of blockchain work, I don't own single cryptocurrency. Okay. But uh, and I'm not either advocating or demoting it. But, okay. But the point is, the same approach can be even used under government control. Okay. Distributed ledger system need not be private anonymous. Hmm. distributed ledger system can be semi private okay. it can be entirely public okay it can be used to enhance transparency okay you can even know where things have gone you are purchasing things at high amount saying it's organic if you have a blockchain system you'll know if it is organic or not okay. otherwise somebody put in something in the middle hmm. now if you put in blockchain hmm. people in india from healthcare perspective are distributing medicine without prescription okay if they have to keep track of everything that's a, that's actually a very serious problem and it uh, contributes to antibiotic and resistance and in fact the pilferage uh, in the public medicine distribution system too has Absolutely. been highlighted at various fora yeah so if we can i mean i would even argue if you and i and some friends can develop the sure, blockchain sure, for healthcare sure. that it could be the next idea for a new startup yeah it could be the idea for new startup and i think it can transform healthcare in india now similarly to simplify artificial intelligence mm -hmm. see it is essentially a system which is not being hard coded into solutions okay so it is learning from experience now okay. i'm not going to bore you with whether it's supervised learning or unsupervised learning okay. right and all those Then details that's nitty but those are nitty gritty details uh -huh. but essentially it's a computer system trying to learn the same way as a baby learns a language right and can become okay. better expert okay so the, how does that help so it helps because a human can let's say you and i who are putting in more than 15 16 working hours a day yeah but we still don't have the ability in our lifetime to go through let's say 10 trillion data sets for that's a computer true. that's true for a computer it might be matter of training it for 
48 or 50 hours. Absolutely. So a computer can learn a lot. It has its limitations. So we are not talking, when we talk of artificial intelligence, we are not talking of Terminator technology, which okay. is destroying the world. We are talking of specialized AI. Something, let's say, in popular media, something which can play better chess, okay. which can play better Go, which can drive cars better than humans. Okay. We are not talking of generalization. We are so far, far it, away from yeah, it. Yeah, but then how does it come into healthcare? It comes in beautifully because, let us say, okay. for example, I'll give you an example of my own research. Um, you get epileptic records from recordings from scalp. Yeah. If I can tell the patient one day in advance that the patient is about to have seizure because I can see slight difference in voltage. Okay. Now I can train the system and tell it. Okay. No human being can do it. Now, for example, if ah, you have Facebook. I see, I see. Social media posts. Huh. So a lot of women get depression. Yes. After childbirth, postpartum yeah, depression. Yeah, this is a very common problem. Now, in postpartum I depression. I think a lot of suicides also are linked to it. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. So postpartum depression turns out AI which is being fed on Facebook data can predict it with 95% plus accuracy and doctors do it around 30%. Wow. This, so, is, this is transformative. Yeah. So AI can help at various levels. It can help at detection. Okay. It can also help in saying which medicine to take. Okay. It can help in intervention. AI can play a role even in becoming better surgeon. So it's not just the when we think of robotics, the hardware component is one end. Okay. That's the body of it. But the mind of it is artificial intelligence. True. So by designing that artificial intelligence, we can transform healthcare from even surgery point of view. So for all these things, you can't do healthcare mm -hmm. without coming to the new technology. I mean, you can do it the old way, but that's where I really like your approach. I think that's where I don't want to sound, I mean, we are best of friends, <laughs> but I don't want to sound like we're appreciating each other. But I think okay. that's where you have started putting an equal emphasis in these emerging technologies. I, I, I see, uh, we believe uh, very strongly that uh, these technologies have the potential to transform uh, how healthcare operates in India yeah. and how we can uh, actually get healthcare out to the lowest common denominator, yeah. right, at, at very, very affordable costs. Absolutely. Because the huge advantage of technology like AI and blockchain, like I mentioned, like yeah. you also uh, mentioning uh, just a few minutes back about uh, preventing pilferage or reducing that yeah. across, yeah, and uh, there's things about spurious drugs Absolutely. right from uh, the source. Yeah. You can tag it using this uh, encryption technologies, yeah. and right up to the user, is he really taking or he or she is taking the medicine on time? Yeah. And uh, Based on the usage patterns, you can again link back to the disease in that uh, yeah. area and so on and so forth. So uh, this is actually very important. And so as a dream, yeah. let's say for a Jan Arogya yeah, movement, uh, a Jan Arogya movement and yeah. a Jan Arogya uh, thing to complement the other vision of Jan Aushadi, yeah. that is medicines at cheap price and health also at yeah. at an affordable cost, affordable healthcare being yeah. the key for even deadly diseases. Yeah. You know, often the costs of treatment can ruin the economics of a whole family. Absolutely. You may even of a middle class family yeah. often. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, uh, this is something where we actually have to take a focus and academia industry inter interactions. We started off the series. Yeah. So, let me summarize and say that uh, with these technologies and we, we have more startups in these areas yeah. and we mentor uh, areas like blockchain and AI yeah. with the internet of things and uh, can leverage technologies in healthcare. Yeah. I think this is key to transform yeah. and it will definitely, I am being the optimist, yeah. right, that we can change Bharat yeah. and the Sangam of uh, all, all these the technologies, technologies would, come through to would make really change things. Bharat. Yeah. Right? Wonderful Ravi, so this has been a pleasure doing this series. So yeah. we are signing off on the this last episode of uh, Academia Industry Collaboration Podcast. Sure, sure. Okay, bye uh, listeners and thanks for yeah. listening in. Thanks. Thank uh, you. Bye-bye. Uh, hope you had fun.